Howdy guys, welcome back to another Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing alright. So, we are coming to meet Eddie in this episode. And I already, uh, drove here and everything and I'm outside the building right now. So we didn't have to drive all the way here. And then, basically, I don't know. It saves time, basically. I just drove here, and much longer for the video to start, so let's get in here. Open door. Crap. No. Okay, we're good. Haha, -ha, cops, you can't get me. Vito. Good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why? So you don't know anything about it. Well... Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his head in the ground. Okay. So... Carlos is out of town. Possible stolen vehicle. Roger that. No. Yes, brave. You could have this small problem, can't you? Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund. You're welcome, good sir. Now, please, go away. I was trying to get in this car. Oh, um, by the way, guys, don't ask for about that pee over there. Uh, he accidentally slipped on some ice. You know, he was trying to look at the poster, and then he slipped on some ice. So, yeah. All right. So, what do we even have to do? Who the heck is Goose? I don't even know who that is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, we have to go talk to... I don't even know how you say that. Oh my god. Oh. I am not talking about that. That was, uh, nothing to see. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his head to the ground. Okay, so... Alright. So, forget about that one spot, what just happened. So we gotta go talk to Gosopi. I don't even know who that is, personally. Um, to see if he's seen Joe, because we can't ask Eddie and stuff. Because if Eddie finds out that Joe actually wasn't with us for the last couple of days and we don't have no clue where he is, then he's going to know that something's off about it. So then we'll have to lie and all that stuff, blah, 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 you know? But... The thing is, if Eddie didn't ask about Henry and stuff, or didn't know about Henry, then we could probably have, um... Oh, wait, I know who Gusopi is. He's the lockpicking dude. I just remember who he was. But no, if Eddie didn't ask about the... What happened to Henry and stuff, when he got hacked up in the middle of the park and stuff, wrong door. This one's small door, I'm just saying. 
But no, if he didn't ask about uh, what happened to Henry, I think we could probably have gotten away of asking him if Joe. Uh, hey Giuseppe, I'm him. looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Hello, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. His neck was, um... Anything you like, you let me know. His neck was glitching through the, um... Ciao, his shirt ragazzi. and stuff. I noticed that when I was looking. Um, it was glitching through it. I don't know. I kind of got irritated in the last video. I was kind of just irritated because the whole game was just buggy. It's not really well put together. I mean, it's, I don't know. Okay. Is it going to give me a waypoint to go? Because, okay. But no, like, I mean, the game wasn't even well put together. It seemed like they broke it more when they made it better looking. So, I, I mean, and plus the game is, like, 10 years old, I guess, or more older. Because it came out in 2010, I think it was, when this got its read, um... Upgrade to Definitive Edition and stuff. So I guess it's, I mean, but still though, I don't even know when it's probably had a last update and stuff, you know? It probably hasn't had an update in like years now. Which is kind of sad that most game developers, they just get rid of, like, they basically drop the games and they don't try to fix them anymore. Which is kind of sad because then those are the games what makes them the most money and stuff. So, I don't know. Freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Shit. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad.
Finally. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck you! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck! Okay, Joe. Calm down. Where's the gun? Oh. Okay. We gotta get up behind these people and take them out. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. So he's got a revolver too. Okay. So. My question though is. Like, so, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to ask it. So basically, Vinci, the other mob boss, I'm guessing, doesn't comprehend what's going on, I'm guessing. You would say, oh god. I don't think he's supposed to move. Come here, boy. Da, 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 da. Only if Spider-Man. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to drag the body. Okay, we only have a revolver. Okay, which way do we go? Do we go up or down? No, I think we're supposed to go down, not up. Which? Okay, we're gonna pull the, the gun out. What the fuck is that noise? Oh. Okay. What the fuck? Who's that? Hey, Barbaro's escaping. Oh. Okay, we got them. There's one more guy somewhere. Right, Fuck this. On. I'm out of here. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, dude. Have a nice day. Thank you for dropping by. Okay. So, where's the other people at? Oh, God. Got him. Let's go. Ooh. I see the guy back there just twitching. Ah. Oh, I guess I got him. Thought it was gonna be like glitched and crap. Oh god, oh god. Go in. Uh, oh, that is. Holy crap, that was bright. Yeah! We got a revolver. Oh, no. Oh. Let me live, please. Never. You're going to go back to Vinci and tell him everything. Oh, God. Got him. Bro, all these people all my learn. Okay. Let's go see if uh, all these are dead over here. Okay, how do we get down? Because, like, half these lights are bright. Okay. Are we supposed to... How the heck do you get down? Okay, 
So those stairs are blocked off. Is there a way down over here? Okay, no, this is nowhere goes to. So then, where do we go? Because, like, I'm confused now. Because I don't see any stairs to get down unless it's over, uh, here. Oh, that's great. No, this? Oh. Are you joking me? You go first. I'll cover you. Why do I always gotta go first? Okay. How far do we go down? It's saving. Oh, I had a feeling. Where the fuck is the Yoko? <laughs> oh. Hey, guys! Bob Rose escaped! Bob Rose? I ain't Bob Rose. Huh? I ain't Bob Ross. Or Bob Rose. Or whatever you call him. Um, okay. Oh. Gotta heal him. We got one down here. Okay. Okay, further down. Okay. How you like um, that, huh? This is Come on! I think he just set himself on fire. Okay, we can't go any further down, can we? No. So. Fido, come here! This should be the way out! How do we get out of here? Show your fucking like, face. Come on. Because we're trapped. I'm not going to lie. Like, seriously. We're trapped in here. Come on, pop your head out. Because, like... Oh, my God. Oh, I could have just got him right now. Oh, did I? Got him. Come on. Got him. I swear there was another guy somewhere. Come on. Come on. Hop your head out. Oh, oh, no! Why did you go just right there? Oh my god, you're dumb. Okay, there's one more guy. Okay, we got him. Oh, wait. There we go. We'll take this gun. And then we'll just use the Tommy gun for the time being. So then we can get out of here. Wait, no. This way, probably. Because that would just be on the... Ooh, yes. Finally. Okay. There's going to be probably more guys. Why does my camera keep? I had a feeling. Oh my god! Bro.
Imagine if there was like someone behind us or something. Come on, come on. Is he dead? Okay. Are they all dead? Okay, got two more people. Now we just got three more. But I'm terrified to come out here. Cause Oh yep, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you. Come on out. Nah, I really don't need this shit. Huh? Who just spoke? Oh, shit! I don't want to die, please! You picked the wrong fucking guy, pal! God dang! Get your ass over here, Vito! Why the heck did you have to just go, pal? Could have like just put a bullet in his kneecap or something. I don't freaking just haul off with a shotgun and stuff. They fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco. I love how like no uh cops or anything are like wondering about all the shooting just that just happened. Get the fuck and out. stuff don't in the building. Me, so it's Look like. Out! All that just happened. Oh well, we're not going to do anything about it, even though we just heard like thousands of bullets just get shot off and stuff. Uh, my chest. Every time I breathe, I think they you broke probably... my damn ribs. I was about to Take say it that. Easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. <coughs> No, uh, thanks for coming after me. Oh my and almost God. getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stab you in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't honest truth know what to talk about on this truth. But no, it's, how did like nobody notice you though? He was missing. I don't know. Um, oh, we just took a wrong turn. He must have been like, they must have been beat him much worse and stuff than uh, they did to Vito. Cause if he's saying that he feels like he's being stabbed in the chest, but, honest truth though, why is it though, when you whine about like a, like something like a bruise or a cut or something, or anything, if you whine about it, why does it seem like it does hurt much worse than when you don't whine about it? Cause like, when you don't whine about like a cut or a bruise or a pain in your chest or something, it doesn't seem like it hurts that much. But though, when you whine about it or something, it seems like it does hurt much worse, sir. So I'd love to know if anybody could explain that to me. Because, like, why is that, though? Does he live in our house? <coughs> oh, I guess I took out his mailbox. Bust down the doors. Need a hand? I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked. At... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh. guys is already here. Uh. Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? 
All the blood, uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be uh, you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. Okay. We got our... Oh. We don't have the $65,000. I, I just realized something. We don't even have the 65000 We only have 55000 We still owe him over 10 grand almost. Well, give or take about probably 9 grand, but we'll round it up to 10 grand. But yeah, we owe him almost 10 grand. How the heck are we gonna find the 10 grand? Sorry. Um, but no, like, unless he doesn't realize that we only have the, we're missing the 10 grand and he just thinks it's all 65 grand. But, but no, like, cause where are we gonna get the extra 10 grand from? I mean, Unless they've always had it where it's like that badly glitched and stuff and the game's broken where it thinks we have the 65 grand but it's actually 55 grand which is going to be dumb and because we said we was going to give him 65 grand back because he gives us 35 grand we give him 65 grand his 35 plus the extra 20 grand basically. Because he gets his 35, we give him 20 grand. But we're only giving him 55 grand. We're. Wait, no. Uh, well, then we would have to actually technically give him 30 grand back. Sorry, I just did math completely wrong. And we're only giving him 55 grand. We're giving him the 35 grand plus the 20 grand. We still owe him 10 grand. Yeah. So yeah, we still need the, I don't know. Maybe he's gonna think it's all 65 grand. I mean, I just realized that, but yeah, maybe he might think it's all 65 grand and we won't have to worry about it. I mean, only way we're gonna have to really worry about it is if he does check it. And then he's like, oh, this is only 55 grand. Where's my other like 10 grand or something, you know? Okay, I was about to say, how do we get back here to him? But, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's dumb and he might think it's all 65 hey, grand. I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. You didn't even open the slip. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. 
Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. Why does he seem creepy? Sure. I mean, because, like, seriously, he does business out back in the alleyway. <laughs> Gives you money, and you give him money in return. Because, like, he'll give you the money that you need, but he'll want it in return. Like, amount in return. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only going to get worse. The truth was going to come out sooner or later. And then we were going to have Falcone after us, along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Alright guys, well I'm going to hit end it here. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.